This method aims to model overeating and subsequent obesity by providing access to a wide variety of palatable foods high in sugar and saturated fat. The variety and palatability of the diet ensures that overeating is reliably promoted, leading to substantial metabolic disturbance within weeks. Providing a cafeteria diet allows for the metabolic and neural changes associated with obesity to be examined in great detail. Visual demonstration of this method is important because logistical constraints can be demonstrated, as well as how planning and organisation can make the feeding more efficient. Secondly, as the model involves greater interaction with rats, it's also important to demonstrate how to distribute and collect the food appropriately without stressing them. Demonstrating the procedure will be Sarah Jane Lee, a grad student, and Mike Kendig, a postdoc researcher from my laboratory. To begin this procedure, obtain an appropriate amount of cafeteria food and thaw it 24 hours prior to use. Food can be defrosted using a microwave, but should not be presented while hot. Changing the type of cafeteria diet foods offered daily ensures that variety is maximized and cage soiling is minimized. As rats eat most of their daily intake in the initial portion of the dark cycle, Schedule cafeteria food replenishment close to the onset of the dark schedule so that food is fresh at this time. Replenish cafeteria diet every day. To feed the chow groups, turn the water bottles around so the spouts are up and place the cage on the workspace. Remove the lid.